Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In this video we will see how to integrate Job Scheduler with Spring Boot. So before anything let's see what is Job Scheduler. Let's implement. Before a start, anything let's run and see everything is working fine or not. See everything is working fine, let's see how to add job scheduler in Spring Boot. Let's create the separate package, initially we'll implement simple functionality then add some service related call. Let's create a separate package called scheduler. And to make it simple class name could be the job scheduler. We need to annotation this class as a component. Adding blank method anyhow log will come from logger aspect class. Every method which we are going to add in this class should be annotated with scheduled. Let's create first method scheduled using rate. So here fixed rate makes Spring run the task at periodic intervals even if the last invocation may be still running so doesn't wait for the completion of the previous execution. Let's create second method schedule using delay. Fixed delay specifically controls the next task execution time when the last execution finishes so the duration between the end of last execution and the start of next execution is fixed. The task always waits until the previous one is finished. Let's create third method schedule using fixed delay with initial delay. The task will be executed a first time after the initial delay value and it will continue to be executed according to a fixed delay. Let's create fourth method schedule using cron expression. Task execution depends on cron expression. In other three cases we are just scheduling with no complicated condition like every day or month or any specific time. So cron expression gives us a flexibility to a scheduler, so schedule whatever time you want. So this cron expression for 5 milliseconds so like that you can create any time period cron expression. Let's run and see task is executing or not. See it's working, tasks are executing automatically. See it's very simple. Let's see what is the scheduled annotation. Let's read it what description Java document added, an annotation that makes a method to be scheduled, exactly one of the Chrome, fixed delay or fixed rate attributes must be specified, the annotated method must expect no argument, it will typically have a void return type, if not the return value will be ignored when called through the scheduler. Processing of scheduled annotations is performed by registering a scheduled annotation being post processor. This can be done manually or more conveniently, through the task annotation, driven element or enable scheduling annotation. Let's see what is the documentation is there for cron. A cron like the expression, extending the usual Unix definition to include trigger on the second as well as minute, hour, the day of a month month and day of the week as you can see the cron example fixed delay executed the annotated method with the fixed period in milliseconds between the end of the last invocation and the start of the next
Initial delay Number of milliseconds to delay before the first execution of a fixed rate or fixed delay task. Fixed rate Execute the annotated method for a fixed period in milliseconds between invocations. Let's add some service related call. Let's create user service reference. And let's call user service method from schedule methods. Let's run and see service call is going or not. See it's working. See how easy it is to add task or job scheduler in Spring Boot. Let's review whatever we added. I hope you like this video, then please subscribe our channel.